Putin's evil war in Ukraine is wearing Russia out. There is a growing backlash against President Vladimir Putin and Russia's expensive military campaign in Ukraine. The Ukraine conflict. Public opposition and military spending. Boris Nadezhdin, a politician in Russia's opposition, recently appeared on national television and advocated for the election of a new president in 2018 and improved ties with the European Union. According to the most recent estimate by British military intelligence, Nadezhdin has been a vocal critic of the war since the invasion, but this is highly likely the first call for Putin to be replaced on Russian state-approved TV since it began. Putin has instituted severe restrictions on Russian society, including the criminal prosecution of those who oppose the war in Ukraine and the stifling of free speech. However, there is a realistic possibility that recent vitriolic rhetoric by nationalist figures like Wagner Group owner Yevgeny Prigozhin is emboldening opposition figures to challenge taboo topics, the British military intelligence said. To fund its special military operation in Ukraine, the Kremlin is being criticized for increasing its military budget. The Russian Ministry of Defense reportedly increased its budget by 9.2% to around $86.4 billion in 2018, as reported by the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, SIPRI. What this means is that the Kremlin spent an astounding 19% of its GDP on the military, an increase of 4% from the previous year. These totals do not include classified funds and are based on publicly available data. The United States, as an example, spent roughly 3% of its GDP on defense during the same time frame. Despite this, the United States has a defense budget of nearly $900 billion. The disparity in economic might between Russia and the United States is rooted in the spending habits of the two countries. The worst part for the Kremlin is that the Russian forces stationed in Ukraine have accomplished nothing despite the increased military spending. The Russian military and its supporting forces have not only been unable to achieve any major objectives, but they have also handed the strategic initiative to the Ukrainians, who will be launching a massive counteroffensive in the coming weeks. Heavy casualties are also a source of concern for the Kremlin. More Russian soldiers have been killed or wounded today than in any previous day of the war. About 400 Russian troops and several heavy weapon systems were lost on day 462 of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. As of Thursday, the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense asserted that their armed forces had killed or wounded a total of 208,370 Russian soldiers. 313 fighter, attack, bomber, and transport aircraft, 298 attack and transport helicopters, 3,474 pieces of artillery, 7,478 armored personnel carriers and infantry fighting vehicles, 578 MLRS, 18 boats and cutters, 6,239 vehicles and fuel tanks, 333 anti-